All right, uh, tutorial question 7. A balloon of diameter 20 cm is filled with uh, helium gas at 30 degrees Celsius at 1 atmospheric uh, pressure. A. How many atoms of helium gas fill a balloon having a diameter of 20 cm at 30 degrees Celsius at 1 atmospheric pressure? Okay, uh, so. Uh, Bridge kinetic energy. Now, uh, information given, give us a diameter here. Okay, we have the diameter here. We have a helium gas. Helium is a monoatomic, monoatomic gas. So this is a um, degree freedom is only three. Okay, uh, and then we have a uh, temperature thirty degrees Celsius. We have a uh, pressure. Uh, what atmospheric pressure? So how many atoms? So the question asks for how many atoms. That means the big N. You want the big N for this diameter, this temperature, and this pressure. So follow, yeah, you follow the data above. So okay. So how to do question A? Uh, first diameter. Diameter is given in cm. Okay, cm need to change to meter. So divide by hundred. Change to meter already. Yeah, always change to SI unit. Uh, so and then this diameter always give us. Uh, if this if this chapter concerns about volume, yeah, instead of area, it concerns about volume. Yeah, concerns about pressure, volume, and temperature, isn't it? Pressure, volume. Temperature, yeah, and this is a balloon. Balloon is a sphere. Okay, we take as a sphere. The diameter can help us to find the volume of the sphere. Okay, so uh, change to meter already. So we get the radius, which is uh, divided by two, zero point one meter. So we can find the volume, uh, which is four over three pi r cube. Yeah, four over three pi r cube. Uh, so what is the volume you get? 4 over 3 times pi times uh, 0 0.1 cube. And what is the volume you get? Uh, 4.189 uh, exponent, okay, exponent negative 3 uh, meter cube. Okay, already in SI unit. Okay, so that's the volume. Okay, that's the volume. So uh, the next is here. Uh, this is a uh, helium monoatomic with F uh, equal to three three degree freedom. And then temperature, yeah, degree Celsius must change to Kelvin. This chapter must always change to Kelvin. Yeah, use SI unit. So plus two seven three, you get three zero three Kelvin. Change to Kelvin, and then the pressure also must change to Pascal. Yeah, the atmospheric pressure need to change to Pascal. Pascal is SI unit. Okay. All this meter cube, Kelvin, Pascal, all this must be in SI unit. So uh one atmospheric pressure is actually uh 1.013 exponent 5 Pascal. Where to get this value? Refer your list of constant, yeah, provided in exam. So the atmospheric pressure become how many Pascal? Uh, this one, the conversion, you can find in list of constant, yeah? 1.013. Make sure you use the same value as the list of constant, okay? 1.013 exponent 5 Pascal. So all in SI unit ready. Meter cube, Kelvin, Pascal. Next, we, we need to find the... Uh, we need to find the number of atoms. Uh, number of atoms, so N. So we use the PV equal to NKT because we want to find N, big N. So we use NKT instead of NRT. So big N, okay. So let's uh, substitute all the information. So pressure, uh, pressure is a uh, uh, 1.013 uh, exponent 5 Pascal, yeah, already in Pascal. Volume is a uh, 4.189. Exponent negative 3 uh, meter cube, and then what is the end? And then k 
Okay, so 1.38 exponent, negative uh, 23. Uh, yeah, we get a bit of sight. Sorry. Um, yeah. Oops, sorry. So I just want this part. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now, um, sorry. Oh, again. Um, oh. Um, yeah. So, uh, I need to ungroup first. Okay. Now, uh, I want to make it a little bit to the to the other side. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so the temperature, what's the temperature I have? Yeah, I already changed to Kelvin. So make sure you put in Kelvin, the temperature. So 303 Kelvin. Okay. So the total molecules is a 1.015 exponent 23 atom. Okay, so this is the total atoms, 1.015 exponent 23 atoms. Okay, TV equal to NKT. Now, uh, make sure you uh, the temperature in Kelvin. Yeah. Now, uh, the next question it asks for what is the um average kinetic energy of the helium atoms? Okay, so the word average, average here means only one molecule. Uh, yeah, average means one molecule. Uh, helium means a monoatomic, so only three degree freedom. Um, okay, one molecule and three degree freedom. So, uh, next, um, yeah. So, what is the average kinetic energy of helium atoms? So, the average means one atom. Okay. Uh, sometimes they use mean kinetic energy. Also means one atom. Uh, the symbol to write average kinetic energy is this one, yeah? This one, this symbol means average. Average kinetic energy. So this symbol also means one atom, okay? Because this symbol represents the average, which is only one atom, okay? So as long as you, you write this uh, symbol, average kinetic energy, means this is a kinetic energy for only one atom. Now, helium is a monoatomic, so the F degree freedom is uh, 3. So we start with the uh, energy for 1 degree freedom, half kT. So how many degree freedom? Monoatomic, 3 degree freedom, so multiply 3. And then how many atoms? Only 1 atom because of average. And the word average means 1 atom. So you multiply 1. Okay? I always multiply F and multiply N. Now our F is 3, N is 1. So what do you get? So the formula becomes um, uh, 3 over 2 kT. Uh, okay, 3 over 2 kT. So 3 over 2, what is your K? Uh, the K I got is a 1.38 exponent. Exponent negative 23. Uh, that's my K. Uh, you can find this value, 1.38, with Boltzmann constant value, you can find from least of constant, yeah? So the temperature is uh, in, uh, just not degree Celsius, I changed to Kelvin already, 303 Kelvin. Okay, so 303 Kelvin. Already in, this one must be in Kelvin, yeah? So, uh, what's the answer you get? So the answer I get uh, after multiply, I got uh, 6.27 6 uh, exponent negative 21 joule. Okay, uh, so that's it. The average kinetic energy of helium atom yeah, for only one atom. Uh, Monoatomic is always degree freedom okay so that's for question seven okay see you in the next videos